Good evening from Davao City, Philippines. I am Fitz Arancel. Our text in today's devotion is found in Romans 8, verse 34. Let us begin with the story. A kid was bullied in his school by some school kids. He was verbally abused, accused, and abated. One day, he decided to record all the verbal bullying and let his father listen to it. In his great surprise, his father laughed after hearing all what had been said. His father said, Son, there are two ways to approach this verbal bullying. It is by accepting it truthfully despite of being a false accusation or ignore because you know the truth of who you are. Romans 8.34 starts with a question. Who is he who condemns? John 10.10 says, The thief which is Satan, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. A typical example of a bully. Throwing accusations for us to be dismayed or derailed in our Christian faith. And we, the Christians, are the target of these bullies. Paul's encouragement is for us to know and deeply understand by heart. It is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercessions for us, Romans 8, 34b. This is an encouragement truth for us to know that we are victors in Christ and not a victim of any false accusation. It is also advantageous for us to dig deeper in knowing our Savior. By doing this, we can stand firm face to face to the one who bullies our stand or faith in Christ. Paul's encouragement should also lead us to know more of who we are as sons and daughters of our loving God by reading his words. In Colossians 2, 8, that says, See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather according to Christ. It is essential we protect ourselves with scripture, for it immerses us in the knowledge of our Savior, making us wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. This in time will strengthen, sustain, and stabilize us no matter how much bully the enemy throws on us. We can have that authentic smile to make it to face it all and the courage to move on. Thank you, Lord, for your never-ending grace.